Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Gonzalez again, and this is another review, a uh, reflection on the book Make It Stick, which is our summer 2015 uh, pick for a uh, book club. Um, I'm going to be talking about chapter 5, and the title of chapter 5 is Avoid Illusions of Knowing. In other words, we can often trick ourselves into thinking that we have mastered a concept when we actually haven't learned it very well. Uh, and a lot of times the reason for that is um, sometimes a lot of information is just stored in short-term memory, but if we were asked to recall it a few days later, we probably wouldn't be able to. And so what they recommend in this chapter is that we build certain things into our practice uh, in, as students or as teachers for our students to help calibrate our knowledge and, and really line it up with whether or not we're really doing, we're rather really learning it. So one of the things, and this comes from chapter two, is frequent low stakes testing, quizzes that sort of help people realize, oh wait, I don't know this as well as I thought. Um, peer review and, and having uh, having our peers look at our stuff to tell, you know, give us feedback, uh, feedback in general from a teacher also. Um, working alongside a more experienced partner is another way to help a person really gauge whether or not they know something. Um, so those are a couple of things that they, they recommend other things too, but um, I think it was just an important chapter that, that people sort of psychologically can think that they know things and sometimes you can I don't know, I kind of thought about American Idol uh, it, um, auditions in this, you know, where people have been told their whole t whole lives that they're a great singer, and then they go on uh, to audition for American Idol, and Simon Cowell or whoever it is that's judging says, no, you're actually terrible. Um, they also use the example of being chosen for, uh, like, a sports team at school. You know, a person can think that they're a really great basketball player, and then they're in PE, and when it's time to choose players, they're not chosen first or second or third, and all of a sudden they realize, wait a second, maybe I'm not as good of a basketball player as I thought. So part of the learning process, they say, is finding ways to, to really test whether your knowledge is as good as you think it is, and that was really the point of that chapter.